Uh, Deputy Mitchell, Mary Mitchell. Uh, thank you, Cahir. Look, hands up. The rollout of Irish water was handled badly. And the Minister of the Environment and our Taoiseach of our country acknowledge this today. I have listened to my constituents who have expressed their, ex their frustration and annoyance. Today, this government has responded with a revised, more realistic and more affordable plan for water charges. I believe that today's announcements addresses the many grievances people are feeling towards the water charges. I have listened tonight to Deputy Mary MacDonald and her Sinn Féin colleagues sermonising us here and demanding the abolition of water charges. Yet, 100 kilometres north of this city, Sinn Féin are imposing higher water charges. Can I ask Sinn Féin to stop your phony crocodile tears? The water charges will now be among the lowest in Europe. I would like to the strongly has you know to well what I'm talking you, about. There's no point of order. I would like to, to strongly speak. condemn. There's no time. I would like to strongly condemn the antics of the opposition in the recent past. It has been totally unacceptable, destructive, and rather than constructive. Sinn Féin and the likes of Deputy Paul Murphy, Ruth Coppinger, and Joe Higgins have done nothing but waste time, scaremonger, and exploit the situation. Deputy Murphy was a disgrace last Saturday having assisted in trapping the Thornishta of this country in a car and then appealing to the mob, and I quote, do we agree to let her go? This is not democracy at work. Violence and intimidation are not effective forms of protest. And can I inform the House that there was also another female in the car, an ordinary worker, and as Deputy J Joe Higgins continues to describe his supporters. She too was doing her job. She too was an ordinary work worker who was trapped in that car for up to two hours. That entrapment was a real low. And I think it is also noteworthy that it was the Thornishta that was invited to Tala to the ceremony for the graduation of further education students. Deputy Murphy, I believe, was also invited, but he chose to wreck the day for the graduates. There seems to be a concerted effort by Sinn Féin and members of the Anti-Austerity Austeri uh, Austerity Alliance to undermine and challenge the rule of law and democracy, both inside this chamber and throughout this state. Not happy with ignoring and physically obstructing and democratically elected government and its agents throughout this country, these people to expect, expect to employ the same strong arm, thuggish, bully tactics here within the chamber. They are trying to destabilize this state with menacing, threatening behavior, hell bent on obstructing the government from doing this job, from doing what we have been democratically elected to do whether you like it or not. I find it also disgraceful that the ordinary workers that De Deputy Higgins loves to depict and who are employed to install, install the meters and earn a decent day's wage are, object, are subjected to horrendous abuse from these so-called protesters. How can these protesters be proud of themselves? Protesters it is your democratic right to protest. It is not your democratic right to intimidate and obstruct people from doing their daily job. It is not your democratic right to spit, to threaten and to frighten. I know of one young woman, engineer, who was threatened with a baseball bat and told that her face would be on it. People have been followed home and vilified on social media. These people are led by Sinn Féin, Irigi, and the likes of Deputy Paul Murphy. This is unacceptable behaviour. It's easy for the opposition to shout and criticise. Sorry, I'm continuing. Deputy, excuse me, Deputy. Would you please take your seat? Ex excuse me, Deputy. Can I finish? Deputy. Deputy. Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Stanley, this is not a point of order. Would you please take your 
seats. Will you please take your seat? There is no point of order here. There is no point of order, Deputy Stanley. Will you please take your seat? Deputy Stanley, please take your seat. There is no point of order here, and you can roar and shout all your life. Deputy Stanley! Deputy Stanley! You should do the same. Deputy. Hold on to your prejudice. Huh? Deal with the facts. We were not involved in those protests. Deputy Stanley. So just hold, just Deputy hold Stanley, the resume your seat. The Deputy Stanley, resume your seat. Please, excuse me, excuse me, Deputy. Can I make it very clear? My job here is to chair. I'm willing to give people their time that they're allotted. I won't take any interference. There's no point of order here. And if you continue your actions, I'll call for the can caller to take the chair, and he'll deal with you. Deputy Mitchell O'Connor, I will allow you extra time because of the interruption. It's easy. There's no point of order. It's There's no point of order. For the opposition. There's no point of order. <laughs> Deputy Stanley, if you, Deputy Stanley, if you continue, I will, I will, Deputy Stanley, excuse me, excuse me, Deputy Stanley, sorry, sorry. Please, members, members of the government benches, please, please, yeah. members, please, Deputy Stanley, resume your seat or else I'll call the can caller. Deputy Mitchell, you have an extra minute and a half. It's easy for the opposition to shout and criticise across the floor and out on the streets. Sinn Féin in the Dáil last week was a pretty sight, defying democracy in the Dáil on the one hand, yeah. and denying child abuse on the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deputy yeah. Murphy was a national disgrace at the weekend. Minister, today, real politics and leadership was shown. Yeah. The next speaker